alanine aminotransferase. We've talked about AST before. When we talk alanine aminotransferase, we're talking about ALT. Okay, ALT is also used to monitor liver function. And ALT, alanine aminotransferase, plays a role in the alanine cycle. It catalyzes two components of the alanine cycle. But what is our normal range for alanine aminotransferase or ALT? For women, we want it to be under about 34. And for males, we want it to be under about 52. So just like AST, we use ALT to monitor liver function, liver health, and monitor for liver disease. Now, ALT, however, is more specific to hepatic damage due to the fact that it's found primarily almost entirely within the liver, okay? So ALT, like we said, we'll run it with our LFTs, our liver function tests, or we'll run it to monitor for liver damage, okay? So if a, if a physician notices that a patient has symptoms of liver damage, their jaundice, uh, ascites, weakness, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, uh, then they may run ALT or for patients just like AST who may be at risk for liver damage. Patients who are alcoholics who've been exposed to hepatitis, they're going to run this test. And again, so patients will see much, this is much more specific to liver damage. So that you're going to notice very high levels in hepatitis, maybe 10 times greater than normal, okay? And these ALT levels are usually going to stay high for one to two months, and it can even take up to six months or you know, for this level to actually go back to normal after the damage, after the acute hepatitis, okay? So you really want to educate your patients on why this is being run. You know, it's it's we can compare it to AST to watch for liver damage, and then we can also run it with our bilirubin, with our protein to watch for, you know, more specific to, to determine liver damage, okay? I said several times here, we're going to be looking for things like hepatitis, cirrhosis. We can also be looking, it can also, you know, give us an, an indication of alcohol abuse, and it can help identify if there's tumors within the liver. So it's a very important test to understand. It's very important to know that ALT, AST, these are specific tests that we're running really to monitor our patient's liver function and to identify and kind of match up what we're seeing clinically, the signs and symptoms we're seeing with lab results, okay? So that's ALT. Again, you really want it to be about 8 to 40 is kind of the normal range for this, and elevated levels is going to indicate some sort of liver damage.